Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only trendsetter DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is called Pucker Up, Mommy. Mm. The ingredients you need for a pucker up mommy is two ounces of vodka, one ounce of watermelon pucker, a half ounce of agave, a half ounce of lime juice, two ounces of watermelon lemonade, and some tahine. Here's how you're going to make a pucker up mommy. You're going to rim the glass to your liking with the lime juice and tahine and set the glasses to the side. Add the tequila, the watermelon pucker, agave, lime juice, and watermelon lemonade into a cocktail shaker filled with ice. Shake for five to ten seconds. Pour from the shaker into a glass filled with ice. Garnish with a a watermelon slice or watermelon candy and enjoy. Oh, it's got candy in here. Does Ooh. it? Oh, I didn't even Just know. Just cutting up. You didn't know he's trying to get skinny. Next week, girl. Next week. <laughs> now where my candy? <laughs> y'all oh, said y'all was trying to. He was all di- on a diet. Yes, you guys. Welcome back to Cocktail Share Discussions. This week we have our friends here, Dranico and Lexi of Poor Minds. Welcome. Hi, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all look cute. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Y'all, when was the last time we did, we came on cocktails? It was the first time. During COVID. During COVID. Oh, was the last time we did? On Kitchen Counter. Yes. Yes. Okay, I remember now. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I thought we did another episode since then, like Mm. in the studio. We Mm -mm. came on y'all's show. That came The Christmas episode. My couch was too little at the last place, so (laughs) we couldn't fit two people. That was going to be a lot of ass on that couch. Mm -hmm. I was trying to remember the place. Mm -hmm. I was like, where do we used to record again? Remember we used to have to have y'all one at a time? Oh, yeah. It wasn't enough room. Room and that AC no wasn't, I don't know if it was it there was or not. But shout out to both of us for the upgrade. Right. Okay. You guys, today we are recording at my brand new home. I'm just kidding. This is something <laughs> extraordinary content house. Make sure if you're looking for a new place to record your podcast, any content, uh, you wanted to have a photo shoot, Post have an, an event, event, whatever you want to do, check them out. I have tagged their Instagram page in the description box of the episode. So just check that out, click the link, and they'll have all the info on their website. You will love it here. Mm-hmm. We love it here. I don't want to leave. This is the comfy couch set. I like it. We not kicked our shoes off. Right? We on, I'm asking Maya if I can actually just rent a room and live here. No I'm, I'm weak. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I think the rent gonna be high. I'm gonna be it's lying. Nice. It's, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. nice. It's real nice. Like, it's real big. They got it. They got good. Water this strawberry water. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's real Snacks. nice up in here. Mm-hmm. The parking is free. <laughs> the Wi-Fi works. Mm-hmm. It's strong too. Mm-hmm. My Instagram loaded real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So y'all been to cocktails before. Oh, it's almost like we're having family back in town. It is. Yeah. It's so like we're having a little kickback today. Mm-hmm. We're having a little kickback. And before Cook we get out. into the discussions and the fun, we're going to play a game called I'm Curious to Know. Ooh. Created by us. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm, we're going to ask you guys Y'all are going to ask us some too, though. Oh, okay. good. Now, wait a minute. Cool. Who said we was answering questions? <laughs> <laughs> not me. Lexa no, no, Chunk. Okay. Okay. That was not part of the deal, Bukki. <laughs> okay. So, I have one. This is an easy one. Okay. I just pulled them out of the deck. I didn't shuffle through nasty questions. I'll save those for later. Mm -hmm. What's your ideal family situation? Marriage, kids, pets, a farm? Marriage and kids. Mm Mm-hmm. How many? Mm, Two. Two marriages or two kids? Both. (laughs) Both of them. Both of them. Oh, my God. I think for me, I don't like to, I don't know. I'm just kind of a go with the flow wherever life leads me type of person. Uh huh. But what you want today? Uh, Your mind can change in 30 minutes. But my mind changes. I mean, today I might want three niggas. Tomorrow I might want one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> today I think I want one. Okay. But like I said, I don't like to box myself in a certain way of thinking. So mm-hmm. I just like to, you know, wherever life leads me. Whatever feels Ooh, good. Whatever Lex, feels you sound like a nigga that's going to fuck you till he not going to be your husband ever. He going to give you some kids and be like, I just don't want to. I mean, I, don't I just never it wanted no to commit. Right. I said one thing I will like, if I have kids and I get married and like we get a divorce, you get in full custody. Period. We ain't fighting over that. But, but okay. we ain't oh, we ain't got to go back and forth. You got full custody. Not you. Oh, please. 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 Screaming mama, please. No. Boy, we want to see you on your birthday Boy, and Christmas. Like, y'all would like, not do that to y'all children. You will be a single father. Girl, That's crazy. Why does it always got to be on us? It I ain't working. Too- Mama gotta in. work. Do yeah. you? The baby literally lived inside of you. You have a special connection well, he to it. Move out. He moved out. I can't already. wait till you have a baby. Ooh. 
Ooh. Don't you wish that on nobody? Me? I'm sorry. You're yes. a demon. Throw some vodka on her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Lex and Kiki being deadbeats for me. How am I deadbeat? I'm going to pay my child support. And we're not going to argue about it. It's going to come early. Matter of fact, Hello. it won't even be on time. As soon as Patreon here, you going to get your check. <laughs> Don't worry so about it. I'm going to send you a little PlayStation. What's the new sneakers you want? You like them Jays? Okay. I got them for you, baby. So you Mama guys, loves you. Make Y'all sure you join Sunday Patreon visitation. right now so that we can support kids. <laughs> okay. Lex's kids and <laughs> Kiki's <laughs> baby. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, you guys, I'm curious to know if someone, I'm kind of remixing it because it oh. says if I went through your phone right now, would I be upset? But if the person who you are seriously fucking with right now went through your phone, would they be upset? No. no. Hell no. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish they would. So Why I get some, some spice in it. My phone dry. <laughs> I ain't having no motion. None. It depends on how far you scroll back because some people want to be historians and go back into mm. years and years and years ago. And it's like, that mm-hmm. don't even matter. What did I text today? Yeah. Mm. Yesterday is a whole different day. Nah, I like that philosophy. Mm. I like that. You can't go back years in my phone because I got to wear a delete after a year just for safety That's precautions. Smart. That's no, smart. I need my receipts, that? bitch, in case somebody oh, tried to play you. me. I'll show you. I got all my receipts. From who mm-hmm. you? Hell yeah. Nigga That's why I don't be having no space. You remember when you said this on July 4th at 2.32 p.m.? Because mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. Let me show you in case you forgot. I don't yeah. be remembering back then. I need my receipts. I don't either. <laughs> so sometimes I forget my lies and I'm like, wait, did I say yeah, that? Girl, yeah, girl. Yeah. That's how you go back and remember what you said. It. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, everyone yeah, find nothing. It ain't, it ain't shit in there. No motion. What y'all saying? What type of porn turns you on? Why are y'all look at me? Because <laughs> you look like you Oh, uh, okay, because I'm like, well, damn. I'm like, well, what what you like? We going clockwise. I, um, okay, I really like vacation sex threesomes. Those are my favorite because it's usually on the channel where the camera quality is top tier. Mm-hmm. Like this, that's important to me. I want a slight storyline, and I don't want nothing looking broke. I don't want ashy ankles. I don't want the homes looking cheap. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see dirty, cheap motels. I don't oh. want none of that. <laughs> it needs to be luxury. If I'm fantasizing, I want to fantasize. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't like ashy ankles either or socks and shoes on, but I also only like lesbian MILF porn. MILF? I want them to be older women. Preferably oh, I- old. Because oh, you cleaned it up. Because last week you was like, I like granny porn. And now granny, that's MILF. Granny porn? She like granny porn. Sometimes I'm watching <laughs> MILF get it on. Sometimes when they take their teeth out. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. The way that they eat pussy is just, it's... You watching I Betty Jean squirt. Y'all just it's try wild. it. Just try it. Just try it. Type I did it. go look one day after you said, because you was talking about it so much. I was like, what did she see? And I was disgusted. Uh, so it's, you, it's not all green lesbian. cream pie. That's what you be oh, like. Oh, cream pie. Like, no, not cream pie. It's lesbians. It's granny lesbians. Mm-hmm. Oh, and what? they just be gnawing be, on pussy. And I just hope they treat them right on set. Oh, my God. That's all I think about. Like, oh, I didn't not even think about that part. Not them on the porn set. Yeah. They might need to go on strike, too. They might need to. Ruby squirting is wild. You don't real freak. And you know she gonna have that uh, plastic on the couch. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Do they have like their life alert button sitting on the dresser? Cause like, I would need one. Oh, a little baby. Big gay. No, it's normally an old lady a with a young girl. Now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What y'all be watching? Um, I'm really simple. I just like lesbian porn. I'm not... Now, Kiki, I don't be needing the whole set. I like it with the camera phone. Real rough. We in yeah. the hood. I just got off work at Popeye's. Come on, let me eat your pussy. Why? See, I don't need I don't all that know. camera quality. Y'all I love the pick. camera quality. I'm trying to get I in and rub that music. shit and get out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I, I don't go all deep searching. I need time to find my vibrator, pull it out, get to the right setting. You be setting the light I'm candles. I'm setting the seat. Yeah, it's gonna oh, smell hell. good. Yeah. I took a bath, rubbed oil on my body. Mm. Ooh, Dre, yeah. what you like? I like lesbian porn too, but like I be real specific when I type in stuff. Like I be typing in like creamy pussy, Ooh, creamy pussy. Yeah, no, Ooh, or not like a creamer. <laughs> Woman who squirts six <laughs> inches from the her squirt mid-tank. pour be wild because it's just so much water, and I just be, I always drift off, and I'm like, okay, so what's really happening, and what are y'all actually squirting, and what does the rest of the room look like outside of what we can see on the camera? You know, that's why I don't like the all much. with the, the nice cameras and this oh. and that because I feel like it's fake. 
Yeah, like when you get say. that camera phone quality, you know they really fucking. They just trying to rent, dude. Yeah. We fucking already. <laughs> so we might as well sell it. She really having an yeah. orgasm. I'm like, I can see it in your they face. Just like, we gotta post this. We got the first. this one. You know, I feel like <laughs> when somebody is propping up their phone and they keep looking at it to make sure it yeah. falls, uh-huh. that's how you know the porn finna be good, because they no. really finna fuck, bitch. <laughs> no, but you know it's finna be good. It. You know it's finna be good when they sheets don't match their pillowcase. <laughs> The five, the, what's it That's called? The smoke know. detector beeping in the background. I can't stand that shit. I ain't got no headboard. Ooh, wee. She mm-hmm. finna tear mm-hmm. that pussy up. Till it stank to the room. To the room stank. Ooh. That's what See, I like. Wow. That probably is some good sex, but I don't, I'm going to try it tonight. And I'll report back <laughs> next week. I'll let you guys know how I feel because I'm thinking, like, this is going to distract me. I'm going to be like, this is very ghetto. Yeah. If what I is that smoke yeah. You going to do bag, it without a headboard not. tonight? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not going to. I have a headboard. No, I'm saying I'm going to watch the porn she talking oh. about. <laughs> what are you going to type in? Ghetto porn. <laughs> <laughs> no headboard. Only fans. No headboard. girls, real Ebony, lesbian. Big Fire booty chick, Something. Mm, when you, you know. get to the point where you're really typing in the details in the description, it is so funny. You're like, I, lesbian porn eats pussy well, dripping <laughs> out of. It's like, all right. <laughs> then you be ever, typing in life alert. <laughs> life, life alert pussy. <laughs> trying to find a video you saw before that you know is gonna get you there and you can't find it oh, oh my god, god. I saved that was me the shit. other day i got you pissed mm-hmm. where you save it just like bookmark yeah a little bookmark who gonna be in my phone <laughs> i don't know but every time i type p me? on my browser i get nervous because it always goes to Pornhub. yeah oh, i get, Dre, I get, I I get a little I mean, nervous i don't care Drea. Uh, Dre done seen everything in my phone. Like, I, she was going through my phone the other day. I said, please don't scroll. Wait, what this bitch do? Scroll. It was a sight to see. <laughs> I said, I don't know. What was it being busted open? Was it porn? It was like your video. It was being open. Because I, I like to make videos. It so was a also, booty hole. I'll say that. That's a good answer to the question. I like to watch myself as well. Oh, me too. That's something I can relate recently to that. gotten Me too. Into. I love to watch myself have sex. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm thinking about Ooh. some of my favorites. Y'all is wild in You don't like to watch yourself? I don't like footage. Mm-hmm. I don't like there to be footage. Oh, CNN. CNN. My sister's a news anchor. Okay. And I just always am like, what if this gets out one day? Yeah. Oh. I get really nervous about it. So you have no footage? I have no. Well, no, I have some footage. <laughs> <laughs> you just... But I won't have any more footage. I like the footage. And I like to I put it in a it shared too. album. And then you name it something else that ain't got nothing to do with what's in there. And you put Ooh. a few dummy pictures up there. So that's the main photo in your shared thing. And you Ooh. send it to the nigga. And you just pop in a new video every now and then. Or pop in a new picture. And he can just see it. And it's like you open your photo app. Oh, notification. Got can he add people to it? Um... I yeah, but I would know. know. Okay, okay, you would see that. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea. That's just like to share idea. folders with our promotional stuff, but I have some sex ones. Yeah, I'm about to do that. Too, that's Kiki. a good idea. Kiki always got the freaky ideas. You know, I'm always ideas. up she on do. it. Ooh, I'm about, he, it's about to pop up in his phone and I he gonna be like, oh, oh yeah. Oh shit, what is this? I didn't even know the phone. See, my nigga be sounding like the Kool Aid Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> is he I'm large? Why does he sound like that? Why does he sound like that? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I never know when you playing. Okay, okay, y'all. It's my turn. Mine ain't that. It ain't that great, but I feel like it's a good little one. You can too. skip it. I can skip it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think this could be interesting. What's your most memorable? What's your most memorable date and why? Hmm. And don't y'all lie either. And don't be saying something that your, oh, your man one. now just took you on. Oh, it has to be back. Like No, it don't have to be. But I'm saying don't be cheating. I have a memorable day. And it's not memorable because it was great. It was okay. horrible. Um, so I think I've told this story before. So I had met this dude one time when I was in Vegas. And we're chatting at the bar, having a good time, mm-hmm. sipping champagne. Everything was great. He was cute. I thought I was drunk, so I was wrong. Um, He wasn't ugly, but he was not the same person I thought I saw. So anyway, he lived in the Bay Area somewhere. And then, you know, of course, I was living here. So he's like, well, I really like to travel. We're talking about wine and stuff. And he was like, oh, you've never been to Napa? I'll take you. So I took him up on the (laughs) offer. And so a couple months later, uh, he flies me out to Napa. We go to Napa for the weekend. And at first, it was cool. Then I don't know if the heat got to him or what, but or maybe it was the alcohol, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because I wasn't drunk yet. So I'm aware of what's going on. And the more he sweat and the more he talked, the more I realized, what the fuck am I doing here? I don't want to go on another fly out. He started telling me about his jail stories. I know that nigga had been to jail. Oh and I was Lord. like, I thought I did a Google search. Then I realized 
that is not the same name you told me. Ooh. Then it was like he was getting very upset because I wasn't being affectionate with him. This is still a first date, nigga. Right. And you're way smaller than I thought you were. So he was short. He was small. petite, or he was petite. Oh, yeah. okay. Not shorter than me, but he nigga. was petite in like thin and short. Uh, and then he had uh, an attitude. Know. So he's everything about the petites that I don't like. Like if he wasn't like that and he was cool, it would work. But he had an attitude. He was telling me about prison, and then he was talking about all this other stuff, and I was like, oh my god, I'm got to get out of here oh, oh no yeah. no that like was it. a memorable day but the wine was delicious and i would love to go back yeah I we need to go back as a, like girls trip yeah. so we can really experience mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. i love a good nap trip okay um the this probably isn't the most memorable memorable but it's one of it's a memorable one okay <laughs> so this is before i had a boyfriend okay okay um he is like let's go see usher in vegas Ooh. and i was like oh Okay, I love Usher. Usher's like our Chris Brown. I was like, yeah, we gonna go see Usher. So we get the tickets. We get the hotel, and um, we go to Vegas to see Usher. It's so much fun. We I can't remember what hotel we stayed in, but it was cute. It was nice. And um, after we go see Usher, we have a really great time. It's Usher. How are you not yes, gonna have a good yeah. time? Like, we went when he first started doing the tour. Now he's been adding in a bunch of extra stuff, but like. Mm-hmm. It was a great time. I was like, oh my God, this is about to be my man. I'm so in love. He spent all this money. Like, ah. <laughs> and then the hotel phone rang and I picked it up. Mm-hmm. I was like, hello. They were like, Mr. Such and Such, you remember you booked this on the rewards. You have to come to the, you know, when you book the hotel through like the, like the they grand have like vacation a spe- type the grand thing. vacation type of thing. You have to go to the little um, timeshare meeting, the timeshare meeting. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, do do we have to go together? He was like, I mean, I guess you don't really have to go, but like we we went to the timeshare meeting, and he's my boyfriend oh now, my and God. I love him. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, so this is your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you just no. say? No, I got some. I, I'm gonna see your ass. It was so much fun. I said, oh, I didn't know you could book it for this long, and you know, I'm so glad that. You did it. Oh, that's sweet, though. That's so sweet. Yeah. Thanks. Boy, you take me to the time shop, nigga. You ain't getting no pussy out of me. Oh, yeah, nigga. nigga. I, I wish love you, you baby. <laughs> he was testing it out. He wasn't my nigga yet. He said, I didn't know what type he of said, girl you were. Know. Y'all got this I'm podcast. Be Y'all be talking I'm crazy. I'm not with And I get it. And, if, and I get it. I was like, uh, the, and we was in the time share, me and the people were like, are you his wife? I was like, did you say yes? No. Oh. I would have been in character because you ain't never going to see me again anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was in the time show meeting asking questions. Girl, he was like, fuck? I was like, I have a question. Can we Because I was going to say, this was recent if y'all went to the Usher. Yeah. Okay. I ain't mad at it, but okay. I'm mad at it. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? I wasn't mad at it, but I was mad at it, yeah. but he's still my nigga now. So I love you. <laughs> I am a wee. <laughs> okay, Dre, your turn. My story kind of like, he he's this is a very memorable day, but not because it was good. Well, I mean, it started off good, mm-hmm. but it didn't end good mm. when I went to Miami. Ooh, Ooh, I remember that time. That was a fun date. Oh, my God. That was one of the most fun dates I ever had. So, this dude had flew me to Miami, and we went to, like, all these nice-ass restaurants. We was running it up, running the tab up. He took me shopping. He bought me some shoes, some Louboutins. Like, we was at the club time. Turning up, popping bottles. It was just a fun day. Where we stayed? We stayed at the Mondrian. Like just a lavish experience. And by the by the way, I was like 24 or 25. So I was mm-hmm. like really young. This was my first time doing Miami like like that. Mm-hmm. So like everything was cool. And then he got mad because I didn't want to give him no pussy. Mm. And then he left me in Miami. <laughs> what you mean he left you? Like, like he, he left, left me. Did left y'all drive Miami. there? No, we flew. But I lived in Houston at the time. And he lived in New York. So he just left me. But did he not like, already buy I the ticket? Was, but I thought he was like going, you know, to like the errand. pool or. <laughs> oh, like he left. I thought he was going to get she breakfast. Home. And then when I woke up, I went looked in the closet and all his shit was gone. And so he, did he cancel and the he blocked flight? Me or he on never Instagram. got. That's wild. He blocked you too? He blocked me on Instagram <laughs> and from his phone. <laughs> that is That's funny. Part. Did he spend an ignorant amount of money to where it was oh, like, yeah. okay, I get yeah, why. But he my did, thing for is, sure. it's the first day. I might change my mind tonight. Nobody. 
nobody told you no, to go on it. No, that was the last day. We were supposed to leave that oh, day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got. I see what you're So you he saying. knew he wasn't getting no pussy. He it knew was it was a wrap. Okay, we were supposed okay. to leave that same day, but he left he me in that morning, up. and then he didn't ever book that my return so, flight. I still remember that because that was a wild day. So then, and I, then I, I had negative six in my account, so I couldn't <laughs> help. I was just yeah. like, damn. Well, I didn't, that's luckily, crazy. I didn't need help. I, it, but the flight was like six hundred dollars to get back home, and he never checked on you or girl now i probably still block to this day i'm gonna check when we finish recording yeah i'm curious i That's am too. to know <laughs> but yeah he left me out there <laughs> that was good man. i like that so i, I really believe. ain't get a gift long story short because i paid for my own I flight <laughs> the shoes was really balanced yeah, out balanced i out. am weak a oh, Lord. You know, i have to go i thought since i read oh, the question you, yeah, i guess yeah, you don't, don't have, have to go, go. Yeah, hold on we all gotta go i don't gotta go i'm ready <laughs> Now see, you cheating. Right. So we're going to move on to weird sex, and when we come back from weird sex, we about to get in their business. All right. Uh oh. So you said a man is not a necessity; a man is a luxury, like dessert. <laughs> yeah, a man is absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. This week's weird sex story. Um, last week I did one about somebody's penis being removed. Mm. Uh, again, oh. sorry to that man. And I really wonder what happened. Oh, it was happened. on accident. No, so basically there was a medical situation. He found out he had cancer, but the doctor was fucking up and was scooping too much of his dick out, the tumor and stuff. So he ended up having to remove the whole thing. He got a lawyer, sued the hospital for a million dollars, and it. he walked away with 65000 So That's I wild. said he needs to sue the, the hospital again and the lawyer because you fucking played. But anyway, this one is about somebody else. So okay. this particular guy, he had a little PP issue too. Mm. Um. So I do understand that it's unfortunate some of you um, people with penises have erectile dysfunction. And I don't know what that struggle is like. Um, so sorry. But this particular <laughs> person had it. And he was just trying to fuck his wife real good. And he mm. was trying to figure out how to make that dick nice and hard, mm. get the blood flow right. Mm. And nothing was working. So um, he was looking online. Uh, don't know the website. But he saw somewhere where it said if you put um, a penis ring on, it will help, which is true. So anybody out there, get your little penis ring. It'll work. And even if you don't have ED, it will help for you to maintain your erection. Anyway, he misunderstood and he put his wedding band on. Now, uh, my question is, he put the wedding how big is your finger and how little is your pee pee? Because a ring that goes on your hand going onto your penis, like how the fuck that, like what is going on? Talk about a pencil dick. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean to kick you while you were down. Anyway. Literally. All, mm -hmm, yeah, everything was down. So um, Dr. Hartman said uh, the wedding ring, obviously, stopped the blood flow out of his penis, causing it to become swollen and borderline necrotic. That's when it's not going to Oh, work. my God. Uh-huh. Um, they had to remove the ring using a diamond tip slaw blade. <gasps> saw blade. Could you imagine if you had a dick and a saw is coming at your penis and it's like, what if you sneeze? Like, I sneeze a lot and I got the saw they blade. They didn't put him down? Like I don't know, but I'm thinking about the person operating the machine. Oh. Like, I'm operating the machine. There's this thing. Like, what I know if my dick is about to fall off. I don't know if they put you to sleep. I don't know if you have time for that. It's like, clock is ticking. You're about to be out of there. I and mean, then a I penis ring is like, what? Six, seven dollars? It's a few dollars. Because of Amazon they, it? Prime? I think he just misunderstood and thought he could just put a ring, not thinking about like a, a sex toy. I'm trying to mm. figure out how that shit fit around his That's dick. That's what, what I'm trying. I'm looking like your finger can't be that big. I don't know, y'all. I don't see. I don't think his penis was that big, and I think I that seen was a small another part peen of the, before. I'm not that gonna small? lie. Especially there, if it's soft. I he have seen a peen so small. I was telling my friend. This is in college, y'all. I was telling my friend. I was like, y'all. Oh my god. This I had sex with this guy. His dick was so small, he, and I was like, I could not believe how small oh, you it was. Had sex with him. Yeah, because that's how I found out his dick was small. I mean, it was the time. It was how, so. But tender. how did you have sex? Y'all was just bumping pussies, or like what? That's how it felt like I was suzerain. So maybe yeah. I have had a lesbian experience. But let yeah. me tell you how small this man. His dick was so small. I was describing it to my friend. She said, "What he looked like? 
I was like, oh, she he knew. <laughs> she recognized. It was the same nigga. To this day, we still call him LD for little dick. <laughs> I swear to God, I was, because I was so shocked. She was like, is his name? I was like, yeah. Do you think that men that have mm. little dicks, or just little men in general, but do you think that they have, they go through depression? Yeah. I, I would be sad. Probably. Yeah. He should. Absolutely. Because he might as well just identify as a woman for him at that point. Like us. He definitely like, had a pussy. Technically, we got little dicks. Clitoris. <laughs> oh, I was killing that nigga shit. My shit was bigger than his. I mean, that's what a clitoris is. A little Do y'all have yeah. big plump clits? I don't have a big plump clit. No, mine plumper. is little. But mm-hmm. have y'all seen the big juicy ones yeah, that like, like roll out? out? Yeah. yeah. Something got switched Do up. Y'all, have y'all seen that little toy where like you can pump it? I don't want to pump my clit out. Yeah, a little pussy pump. I, went, I don't want no big swell ass pussy. Me neither. I don't want no big clit. I don't clit. be looking like big ass between my legs. I don't want that. Mm. Look, y'all have seen Garfield. I don't need to pump shit. Shit on him, bitch. Mm-hmm. Why have y'all seen Garfield? Everybody oh, seen Garfield. Everybody seen it. You ain't seen it. She waving at you right now. <laughs> she spoke when she came in, bitch. <laughs> Woo. Uh, okay, y'all. Uh, that was a great way to say. Um, how has everybody been? How have you ladies been? <laughs> We've been good, girl. <laughs> We've been great. We are on a tour right now. Congrats. Um, Thank I don't know. You. I just feel like this has been a really good year for us. You know, at the beginning of the year, we got our new studio. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I just feel like we're in a mental state that's just like better and healthier. We went on our workout fitness stuff together. Mm. So, yeah, it's been really, really good. Really good. Mm-hmm. I love that. And I love how you were looking at each other the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> we, Are we good? We in love. <laughs> <laughs> so- have y'all been on any exciting dates lately? Oh, girl, why oh. we both got boyfriends? That's crazy. I love that. I just got back from Costa Rica it. with my man. How was it? Girl, I got, I was so high the entire time. Y'all know I don't do drugs like that, but he's a smoker. Like, we were, like, high on the beach, mm-hmm. and we just had a moment. Then I tried shrooms for the first time. Did you How love it that? or hate it? Um, it was an experience. I will say, uh, if you're not with somebody that you really trust and that can really keep you calm, don't do it. It was definitely a outer body crazy experience mm-hmm. um i would do it again with him but i wouldn't do it just like oh y'all let's with do anybody yeah, yeah i wouldn't do but it was it was definitely interesting so we split the trip up in like two parts so the first uh first half of the trip we were like by the beach in a really nice resort second half we had this like bomb ass airbnb it was like the house was like super modern and futuristic but it was like mm-hmm. you know in the middle of like nowhere it was cool so it was fun i had a good time i love a good, like a good vacation and i haven't been on a vacation in like two years so mm-hmm. i definitely needed that dre you been on any new exciting dates with your bae lately you know what? No, <laughs> not that I'm thinking about it. Not really. We need to go on one though. Mm-hmm. But we supposed to be going on a trip soon, so we gonna see. But like the crazy thing is, me and him be traveling a lot together. We just haven't been on like a trip. It can, out a date doesn't have to be a, a trip out the country and lavishly on a beach. I'm trying to think what have we done that was like really fun lately. I don't know. I mean, we go out to eat a lot, girl. We go out to eat. We be going to different restaurants all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. Really Are y'all fun. normally in? relationships at the same time no i'm never I'm in, always relationships. in a relationship i'm like oh i got a boyfriend but it's yeah. a different one from the last one mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a relationship girl though mm-hmm. i love i'm just i was talking to her about this earlier i'm just not in my whole phase anymore like i really but i'm dating intentionally now mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. i let people know hey straight up you're not trying to be my man <laughs> you can get the fuck how does it feel <laughs> um i mean I always got a man. I always got a boyfriend. <laughs> you do? So. I'd be like, wait, which man is this? Yeah, but honestly, I feel like this is the first time in a long time I'm dating somebody where it's it's a, it's a super healthy. Mm-hmm. Like, he's a big communicator. And also, like, the dates are different. He's very thoughtful. Like, we went to this date, y'all. It was a live band, and they played all cash money music. Ooh. That's the type mm-hmm. of shit that we be doing. Like, we uh-huh. went to another date, and it was like a lady. She was a, singing, like, all Motown hits. Was it like that. the Candlelight Fever thing? Yes. Get, oh, that's the first so date we ever went on, he took me to an Astros game. I've never been to a baseball game. So mm-hmm. I just like how he's just real different. Doing stuff. Yeah, he's real different with like the type of stuff that we do. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this is the first time I feel like, okay, what we doing today? Like mm-hmm. what we on today? Mm-hmm. So it's cool. It's different. That's do y'all think it's the dynamic niggas? It's new for me. <laughs> like, I feel but you, I bro. But it be fun. No, like it's cool. <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is what I've been missing out on. <laughs> 
Do y'all feel like when one of y'all is in a relationship, I guess Lex, yeah. and the other one isn't, do you feel like the dynamics of the friendship change? Hell no. no. I'll still be calling her crying. <laughs> no. I'll call her crying. And one thing about Lex, she always in a relationship, but <laughs> then she going to be up with five bees and say. <laughs> type of girl i'm i'm not male centered at all so if my nigga be like oh let's do this i'm like girl the girls is outside i'll see you later bookie buddy i just love my friends i'm that girl i love my friends so i'm not that girl that's like oh my man my man like don't get me wrong i'd be like you know you know i'd be loving my man but i love my friends so you Mm. incorporate the two oh hell yeah yeah. like my my best friend lauren like loves my god now like they are like they're actually cool like you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so i love that i feel like now my ex everybody hated it like everybody Thanks. hated him like mm. so they were so happy when i got <laughs> rid of him but i'm not that friend like my relationships with my friends never change when i'm in a relationship like and then i'm like the girl like i always call dre like dre let me tell you what this nigga did <laughs> and she be like girl i told you you need to leave that nigga alone mm-hmm. break <laughs> up with his ass <laughs> Bye. Call it- quit um mm-hmm. i want to know if you guys have tried any new sex tricks lately Ooh, i did anal <gasps> that's new oh not yeah. freaky medine yeah. Cream medine is back yeah for i ain't me. never left <laughs> <laughs> that was the How first time you did that? it i mean like i don't need it a lot of times now but mm-hmm. Do I, you like I, it? I just did it this year yeah, I mean, like, I need it a lot of times. Doesn't I like, it feel good? It it's like painful, but also I'm like, not yeah. very yeah. good with it. Like get in there. Yeah, it has to get all the way. Oh, yeah, my booty hurt yet. right now. I, thinking about it. Really? Yes, it just clenched up. Like <laughs> it feel good though, because then it, once it's in there, once you get the groove, it's like if it come out, it just slide back in. Oh. How it get in there? That's the you thing. said. How get it in how? there? You gotta use the lube. Lulu. It don't be going in there. I be laid out and thinking my sciatica about to act up. I'll be <laughs> oh, at the hospital. I'm going to need physical therapy because my booty done fucked up. Does yeah. anal activate sciatica? Is that like a... <laughs> I don't know, but it's all in the back. I don't know what's going on back she there. She can't but... toot it up right. Uh, well, I, don't, I, don't, mm, I just don't want to do it. Okay. What I just want to try. try. Um, honestly... I just tried the vibrating butt plug for the first time while we were being mm. intimate, and I really, really enjoyed it. Like, I really, mm. like... I haven't mm-hmm. tried that one. Do y'all remember when y'all... You, I think it was you that was the ringleader, and we I'm went to the sex me? store. Yes. It definitely and was, you, huh? you made us get uh, the butt plugs with the little She jewel. did. Mm-hmm. Now, see, I yeah. used to just wear now the I butt plug for butt pictures, plug. Yeah, a little decoration, I but I wasn't having sex in. with it. I can't do oh, a vibrating yeah. butt plug. See, you gotta get yeah. that in. No, don't get me wrong. It was oh. a lot. Like at first, I was like, <laughs> 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 Nigga, my body took a screenshot. Does it have a remote, or you gotta push your? No, he has a remote, but he. So when we do, like, I, I let him do everything. So he <laughs> too. Now he, <laughs> he puts it in. I let him put it in. I uh-huh. just tell him to use a remote, but I think the remote got a little malfunction. It got a little nut in it or something. So he be having to push the button. I'll be like, hold on now, nigga. He's a little heavy hand. I'll be like, you know, he got to press it and turn it on. Oh. But the bad thing about it is it has different settings. Yeah. So when he's trying to get it to the right settings, he got to keep clicking. It's like, ram, ram, ram. And I'm like, mm, yeah, going mm, all kind of ways. Mm, mm. They need to change that. that. Which yeah. one you got? I got this little purple one. It's real. It gets real wild now. Yeah. But it has a very <laughs> soft, like it soft setting but i feel like me and him our sex is so fun so mm-hmm. it's not like awkward or nothing mm-hmm. he's very like try anything do anything mm-hmm. so it's not like i feel uncomfortable like if that would have happened like with my ex i'll be like oh my god you how know? did you introduce the toy to him oh he introduced he well he did it the first i don't use toys in bed never have like maybe a little something mm-hmm. because my ex like me and him had great sex but he didn't like all the extra stuff and i really didn't either so he introduced toys and stuff to me yeah so i was really like okay well let me bring a little something something because yeah. he be down for whatever like uh-huh. Once we got really comfortable with each other, he was like, okay, close your eyes. Like, he put a little thing on my face. And a girl, blindfold? He put a blindfold. I was tied up. And, mm. girl, he he had all the, he put all the tricks out. Does he listen to the show? No, hell no. I don't let them, I don't let people I date listen to the show. But if they do listen to the show, I say, you can listen, but you can't talk to me about it. Mm-hmm. No discussion. Well, wait. What? If y'all in a relationship, what if he wants to talk about it? Why? There, because the thing is, maybe he listened and had I a mean, question. I mean, the thing is, there's nothing to say. This is not even job. like it doesn't even have to be a negative thing. What if mm-hmm. he just wants to talk about the show? No. Okay. 
I don't go to your <laughs> job and be like, well, when you on the computer and you're doing <laughs> this to that, what does that mean? <laughs> but you would ask him something like, what do you do for work? Yeah, he knows what I do. Okay. That's all he need to know. <laughs> you want to come to the show, hold a go poppy sign, you can do that too. Mm-hmm. But as far as being like, well, what did you mean when you said? Yeah. I don't, I don't, don't, nah. This is my job. So mm-hmm. if he did that, would it be like, it's over? Oh, hell yeah. But I let it be very clear. Like, if you want to watch my show, that's on you. But we're not about to sit here and discuss anything. But I also, I, I, I don't censor myself, but I'm very respectful. I don't say anything that makes you look bad. Or I don't say anything that people will be like, oh, my God. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. So I feel like I know I got this. Mm-hmm. I got this, and you should trust me enough. So I don't talk about my show with people I'm dating. Mm-hmm. Do y'all That's think that y'all's idea. types from your 20s, like the type of man that you liked in your 20s, has changed since we all reached our 30? <laughs> Big 30. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Has the type changed? And what is your what was your type in your 20s? What's your type now? Mm, I still love dealing with a rich nigga. I love dealing <laughs> with a rich nigga. No. But, change. you know, I put a lot of other things over there mm-hmm. now, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I really care about how you make me feel. Like, I really care about you being respectful. I really care about you not having a bunch of other bitches. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't <laughs> used to care about stuff like that. Was when that I was because younger. you needed help? financially Mm -hmm. yeah for sure i mean absolutely i'm not gonna say a little bit absolutely Mm -hmm. but i also think that naturally i'm not a relationship person so i don't really care about a lot of the things that most people care about when they're in relationships Mm -hmm. like monogamy and Mm -hmm. all of that stuff like now as i get older i really want to be married and stuff which is crazy to me because i never cared about that type of shit I never cared about that until like now in Not my life. Not until you met him. Mm-hmm. That's what you want to say. Okay. Until I met you. Mm-hmm. Say it again. Wedding until bells. I met my man. So we can feel it. Okay. Y'all try this. <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing people happy and talking about their men. Yes, I definitely think that my type has changed. Like, I just care about, like, your character, your morals. Are you a good person? Mm -hmm. Like, do you go to church? Do you have a good relationship with God? Do you have a good relationship with your mama? Mm -hmm. I never cared about none of this type of shit. I used to date a nigga who mama was a crackhead. Oh, now see, now what? Now why is she in it? I'm just saying. <laughs> and he hated his mama. And they used to argue and she used to call him a bitch and all type. Like it was very toxic. Mm. But I didn't care. I was like, shit, he got them coins. Imagine if the you would have had that in? baby by him. Girl, like, I didn't nigga. care about oh that neither. God. I was like, I guess my baby grandma gonna be a cranky. <laughs> Well, eat. shout out to growth. Yeah. Well, shout out to growth for real. You know, that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. Mm-hmm. I like hearing the truth mm-hmm. because when you sometimes when you need like financial help, you will like it's settling. It's yeah, like you, you will. will. It, whether he rich or not, it's like you're settling for something because you are, are not literally deprived of <laughs> everything else. <laughs> Repay. This nigga ain't looked at you in that six weeks. That's disposable income is what she means. I was about to say, how he gonna help you if he not? No, no, no not, not rich, but he comfortable enough to be able to throw you some money. Yeah. Right. And now he fixes over here. Right. Right. You know? When you get to a point where you can be solid with yourself and like take care of yourself and just like, you're just becoming a better Adult. person for you, <laughs> mm-hmm. not for anybody else, for mm-hmm. you. The types of people that you want around you, it does change. It, even like your love interest, some of those things like money, not that it doesn't matter at all, but it's not at the top. It shouldn't be at the top to me. It, it shouldn't. Because when you, you find yourself in situations where now like maybe you have started a family with someone and you're sitting here looking shocked that your man is never around. He never was around mm-hmm. and never planned on being around. So it's cool mm-hmm. to see the growth. Yeah, I mean, that's mm-hmm. maturity and that's growth. And like that money doesn't make a sustainable relationship Mm -mm. yeah like it cannot sustain a healthy relationship don't get it twisted her man is very rich still (laughs) like let's not we not missing the plot but But dream can take care of herself but he's very nice but he's respectful yes he's very nice he's a dog like Mm -hmm. yeah and he's cute Mm-hmm. Is he what real? an upgrade Let me just what say is, Baby no wow. Baby She talking about the crackhead But Let's Talk about him Was he ugly Ooh. Well, I'm, no, just saying, I'm, I'm just saying She upgraded That's all I'm saying that's Positive all I'm thing saying, yeah. He has an upgrade He's nice I, he I, can't I, can't you. I can count on my Actually I can't It's probably like Two niggas I've seen Dre with I'm like okay He's cute Cause Dre has never been She don't care about Just like five Five You didn't care it's about like that Like it wasn't at the top of your list Girl be for real I will say this. It's him in Miami. My niggas was cute to me. Okay. That's and that's matters. all that that's matters. Yeah. I know that's mm-hmm. right. Sis. Ooh, right it's man. like a mother's love. Ain't no wrong with love. Like cute. Them socks cute. Mm-hmm. He dresses nice. He smells mm-hmm. well. Oh, he got nice teeth. 
He got mm-hmm. money. Clearly, that's but true. but her guy now is he's he's very sweet. He's mm-hmm. cute and he got money. He is attractive. Does he listen to the show? Girl, yeah. I mean, not really. Kind of sometimes, occasionally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not really. He's okay. He don't yeah, be- but he don't ever try to come talk to me about it because I feel like he he used to it at this point. Okay, mm-hmm. he's so, like, I know what I signed up. He for. know what's going on. He yeah, he know he's, what he oh, signed he know up for. Going on. <laughs> <laughs> he's have they ever have either of y'all's man been to the live shows? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, well, hers has not mine. Um. It. it like no. But he I be wanted rooting to. Me on. I wanted to. We actually. He asked me which one. He was actually wanting to come to L. A. But I told him no because I didn't think what? nobody was gonna come to the L. A. Show. Oh, and the L. A. Show ended that. up being lit as fuck. I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. I should let you come to that one. But um, I think I want him to come to the Houston show because I feel like y'all know how Houston is. Mm-hmm. So Houston or Dallas or Nashville. Nashville's a good one too. Mm-hmm. And Nashville's like the week of my birthday. So I think oh. I want him to come to the Nashville show. So it's coming. It's coming. He definitely gonna come. Yeah, Mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we move on to Indecisive Diane, one last question. Uh Okay. What type of men do y'all attract? Rich (laughs) niggas. Period. (laughs) I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I I had a conversation with somebody and and I don't want this to come off wrong, but I can't remember the last time like a man who didn't have things going on for himself. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to use the word broke because I don't like that word. But somebody who's like going through, I, I can't remember the last time a man like that has approached me. Or I went out with a man, he was like, oh, I don't got it right now. Or I'm not trying to do that. Because there's no problem with dating a person like that. I'm not mm-hmm. saying, I just cannot remember the last time somebody approached me like what that. You did. Um, I feel like every time I attract men who are ambitious, they make money, they have things going on. I never attract men with a bunch of baby mamas and a bunch of kids. I have not crossed that. The most uh, kids that I've dated with a guy, like he had two kids, but he was married before, mm-hmm. you know, so it wasn't like a situation where he had two baby mamas and X, Y, Z. So I feel like the men that I attract, they be, they be pretty lit over here. They're your type. Yeah. Drea. What are you like I know? Because <laughs> I don't be a tra- Them niggas be having money, but they be narcissistic. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying it's they a good thing. They be manipulative. For all like, the time, but- they be all of that shit. I feel like this is probably the first time in my life that I really had, like, a, like have been in a healthy relationship. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Where it wasn't like no manipulation going on, or I wasn't like I I didn't feel like I was settling, mm-hmm. or just you know dealing with somebody because of what they have or what right. they could do. I would love to hear that. No, seriously, yeah, I feel like because people a lot of time people don't like to talk about that type of that part of it. You know what I mean? It's like it's cool to date dudes who got money and who could do stuff for you, mm-hmm. but it's a whole other side that comes to that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And a lot of those Sex. guys, they be very into themselves think that they could do whatever they want to do because they providing for you or they pro- and, and not even just for you but everybody around you mm-hmm. whether it be family friends mm-hmm. whoever and they girls multiple girls usually so i just feel like you know people don't never talk about that part of it but it'd be like a lot of manipulation and narcissistic behavior and shit abuse yeah. they be jealous too abuse. especially like if you got your own motion and mm-hmm. people only look at abuse a lot of the time. It's like physical. physical. Yeah. And it's a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. So many other things. Yeah. Even the financial abuse. Like, you know yeah. that. Mm-hmm. I know that you're dependent on me because I got the money. So right. I'm going to treat you however because I know you don't have another option. Right. I had dated a guy at the beginning of the year. And on paper, he's perfect. Honestly, and he's a great guy. But I think it got to the point to where he was like, okay, I done done X, Y, Z for you. Like, what's up? So what's a lot of times people like, do, what's up with pussy or marriage? Like, I mean, everything. Because <laughs> I never had sex with him. I think he was more like wanting a relationship. And he was just like, dang, I done did X, Y, Z. And I'm like, so what that mean? Like, I'm not ready yet. You haven't gave me. I don't give up the pussy just because you done done X, Y, Z. Don't do X, Y, Z for me and expecting something. Do it because you like me and you fuck with me. I can smell when a nigga doing something Mm -hmm. and he doing it for the pussy. Mm -hmm. So you really not getting it now, but I'm going to enjoy my things in the meantime. (laughs) But yeah, I think that's a lot of stuff that you deal with too. But I will say like, I mean, that's just what I attract, but you definitely have to weed them out because a lot of men look good on paper, but once they start talking... How do they actually treat you? Oh, girl, what are they really about? But how see, do they treat themselves? Right. Mm. Mm. And I feel like I, def- I attract better guys now, though, because mm. I did the work to become a better person. Mm. Like, I feel like I'm the type of person now that deserve, like, the type of guy that I want. Mm-hmm. I feel Facts. like when I was younger, the things I used to say off my checklist, the things that I wanted in a man, like, are, was you the type of girl that deserved mm-hmm. that type of guy? I think mean, it's really, like... 
like that's why I didn't come across them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes when you take a look at, and I do this like, multiple times, like, not even a year, but just like in moments of my life. But like when you look at the person that you're dealing with romantically mm-hmm. and you look at how they treat you and how you feel about them. And it says a lot. It has a lot to do with how you feel about yourself. Mm-hmm. And so oh, sometimes wee. when you go back to some of the men you were Maybe mm-hmm. it's not even he was disrespecting, but you were just dealing with him. You don't even know why. Mm-hmm. You maybe were lost in that period. Or now when I look at my boyfriend, I'm like, wow, like I've never loved somebody so much or been this happy mm-hmm. and like been so thankful to God that like you really mm-hmm. you you put this person in my life and how strong he is. He's a great leader. Like his faith. It's just beautiful. And some of the niggas I fucked, I'm like, why? why was it the death? What was right. going on? How I mean, drunk was I? I yeah. talk about um I have my this lady that I always talk to and she helps me with like my energy and my manifestation is it's crazy because I really manifested everything from my career to the guy I'm dating right now. And she kept telling me like, I, you have all these things. And when I tell y'all, I got so spe- specific on my manifestations and everything on the list, like he checked off. It was so freaky to me, but she was like, until you let this other relationship go, this is not going to come into your life. Mm-hmm. And she was like, you have to really let go of that relationship. Y'all, when I tell y'all, as soon as I was like, dropped it, mm-hmm. literally, he slid in my DMs the same night. It was craziness. Witchcraft. I love it. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I, oh I'm a witch. Ever since I said, oh, I'm a witch. I said, this, I can get with it, baby. <laughs> okay, it's giving charmed, hun. I used to love charm. But Me no, too. what I'm saying, I feel like it's the same thing, but I, I had to let things go. I had to grow. I had to become a better person. I had to feel better. I, I, how can I love somebody if I wasn't really loving myself properly? Because if I love myself properly, this person, you I wouldn't have let that. this person do what he did to me for so long long mm-hmm. you know what i mean so i definitely agree with her as far mm-hmm. as like when you grow as a woman you just attract better people for sure mm-hmm. okay y'all we're gonna move on to advice no indecisive, indecisive diane, diane. Mm-hmm. and when we come back from indecisive diane four minds is gonna help us answer some questions that Ooh. you probably sent to them too hell from judge from the look moment. they always <laughs> say right they we they probably, probably read it already girl Why would you stop thinking about what everyone wants Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? Hey, ladies and gentlemen. So listen, I want you to stop what you're doing right now and go to theworstbehaviortour.com and get your tickets for the Worst Behavior Tour Adult Prom. Who doesn't want to go to a prom? If you didn't go to your prom in high school, or if you did go to your prom in high school, get your tickets now and just relive the whole thing, but in an adult way. (laughs) You get what I'm saying? Take your bae on a date. A fancy little cute date. Bye. With the topic. So okay. this is from a man and he titled it The Type of Women I Attract. Uh oh. He said, What's good, Kiki and Medina? I'm a male listener and I love you guys, girls, and came to your Valentine's Day special in Atlanta. Thank I've been you. listening to y'all for quite some time now. For years, y'all have been putting me on to so much game, yet keeping me humble when I'm in the streets, yet changing my outlook on women. For that, I thank you. Keep the content coming. But for my advice, I'm 24 years old. I'm 6'4", a black man currently working for the government as of recently. I'm single and enjoying those around me. But I can't help to notice that I'm attracting a lot of single mothers that are substantially older (laughs) rather than women around my age. I enjoy being their booty calls, but I'm not trying to play stepdad for anyone, especially at this age. Mm. However, times are changing and the chances of ending up with a single mother increases daily. (laughs) (laughs) He ain't lying. He ain't lying. The peak is getting slim. (laughs) Since you all don't know me personally, please let me know what type of vibes I give off based off of my Instagram or my pictures. Do I give off secure vibes, stepdad vibes, husband, a fun time, etc.? Please let me know. I'll attach pictures. I have them pulled up. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see. Because I'm ready, bitch. Me too. I, I, I ain't got no kids. I'm going to tinkle, but let I'm me see. I'm Oh, okay. Ooh, he, he's not. Oh, that's right. He's noise. Yeah. Hold on. Do you see it, Kiki? You, you ain't catfishing this, right? I, and I was at the Valentine's Day show. I ain't see you. Yeah, me either. Well, I'm yes, not. Sir. He's very in shape. The That's body is looking good. It's giving scrumptious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kiki, mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. 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 That better be his Instagram. Oh, I was just about to say, where he from? It's giving international. I see the flag in the bio. Where is he from? Right. I don't really know what this flag is. I think it's Jamaica. Ooh. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I think the vibe is giving off, though. Women your yeah. age don't. They don't really know right now. Like they're going for twenty-four year olds. They they chasing after what's his name? Job. They want to see uh, they want the, the bottles in the club. They they, they want to go to uh, Gervonta. Mm-hmm. They don't realize. So the old women like, oh, he young. He ain't got no kids, and he work for the government. Bitch. That's gonna be some good insurance for my baby. They mm-hmm. be knowing. So the girls your age probably don't. We know, know that now though. Mm-hmm. So you need to find a woman your age that got a good job. So find somebody who's equally young. Yeah. And you just gotta explore some more because you're twenty-four. I don't know the age range of the girls, or I don't think he said where he lives but it's like it's four women over here we way older than 24 and none of us have children yeah mm-hmm. there's women out there that still don't have kids so a i lot. mean it, the pickings are getting slim you don't have kids it's somebody out there mm-hmm. yeah i wonder where you hang out at like maybe you need to go like go younger places stop hanging out with your co-workers because yeah, he said yeah. significantly old. oh yeah he said he works for the government you mm-hmm. might need to stop going out with chester <laughs> after work for half who hour. are the fine ass niggas in the pictures with you go hang out with them. where they be at yeah Ooh. it does make me wonder like is your personality not he's probably very there. mature and has his life together he probably was raised by his grandparents mm-hmm. he too mature Squirt for the young girl Squirt and myrtle raised him <laughs> Y'all will say, to, to get with the young girls, you might need to be a little bit more ignorant and spend money. Well, no, I won't even say that because you don't want to attract the wrong ones. I think what he needs to do, do you have women your age that you're platonic friends with? Oh, yeah. Have your girlfriends weed, weed them out and help you out. They know where the bad bitches be. Ask they know friends. They got a cousin something. Something. I feel like, you know, you have a plethora of... Um, connections around you that you can use. Yeah, yeah. you're handsome man. Next time you come to a live show, come see us in one of these cities in the fall. Raise your hand. We'll bring you up. Yeah. I'm going to see you because you're tall and you're looking good. Mm. I'm going to see you. I'll bring you up and we'll see what you the lady take for. You lucky big mama come for you. I feel like it's probably okay. some nice women at the gym too. Mm. Like they yeah. work out, they Girl, care about their health, care yeah. about their fitness, care about their body. Bar. That's why I feel like this and might it, be a personality thing because yeah. he looks good. Yeah, it's not the look, so it's something inside. It's you something going on. on. He probably be on dates barking and shit. <gasps> Ooh, he had he a cute tattoo. Are you? Or he probably he be, be trying to go half on the tab. He probably Ooh, be in the club. Be doing that. that. Yeah, now, we'll have yeah. you not Can win. He tell the truth what you did. That's what, what I want to. What has on? really happened Something on these days? Right. Can you connect What's us to the last girl you went on a date with? Now I'm wondering. Mm-hmm. Is it like the man from Weird? Is it a pinky ring? Are you giving LD? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Well, good luck on your journey. And good luck uh, on your journey. if it doesn't work out in about six to ten more years, hit me up. You'll be old enough by then. Period. All right, next one. Um, it says, "Hi, I just started the podcast, but I'm on episode 116." Woo! You Girl. got years to go. A, a roller coaster ahead of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I what don't know. What episode number y'all on? Sorry. This, this is three, like fifty-three. 53. Yeah, I figured mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't know if you're still doing advice. We are. Um, I got a dilemma. My boo is the sweetest man ever, and I love him so much, and he's hella attentive, et cetera. Now, the issue is, before we met, I was a big hoe, busting wide and nasty for lots of people. He was a virgin when we met. I know. What the fuck did I do? LOL. So, during sex, we vibe sometimes, but on, like, oral and clit stuff, it's like he isn't soaking in the info, and I'm very vocal about how I like things, and I hurt his feelings once, but not on purpose. We talked, and he said he would try and do better, etc., but he isn't, and I'm like, dude, come on, and it's making me want an open relationship, or I may hurt his feelings on purpose this time. Damn, this is ruthless. Um, I've tried getting him to watch porn with me, etc., but he's very vanilla. Oh, Lord. What do I do to like teach him and get him to listen. Please help. P.S. Excuse the email. It's my old feet pick. Oh, it must have been the email address. Well, that part doesn't matter. Well, yeah. I wonder what the email. You were selling feet pics? Hmm, interesting. <laughs> she real freaky. <laughs> yeah, I want you to be anonymous. Everybody's anonymous again. We're not going to mm-hmm. tell y'all business. Okay, so what should she do about this man who is probably biting her clit or something? He's not eating her pussy right and he's not listening. 
Oh, and the well, porn I feel part like every ain't working. Time she has a conversation with him. It seems like they're having conversations in the bedroom, or they're getting prepared, so they're watching the porn. Then they're trying to do right. it. Mm-hmm. You need to have a conversation outside of the bedroom so you can let him know, hey, sex is really, really important to me. I mm-hmm. think you're probably doing it in the moment, so he's just kind of like revved up, like, okay, let me try. I and think you nervous. Need to ha- yeah, so I think you need to have a conversation outside of the bedroom and let him know how important sex is to you, and then you know. Maybe we y'all walk, y'all can watch a video, but it's not like oh we're getting ready to go fuck. Be like this is what I would want you to do to me. Send him the video. Maybe he needed to research it like they what the football people do. They watching watch, tapes, watching tapes. Let mm-hmm. him watch it a little bit. Maybe he don't time. like eating pussy. Yeah. Maybe or maybe you need to like guide I, him. Yeah, you might have to do a mouth demonstration yeah. on a part of his body uh-huh. to show him the feeling. And maybe if he feels it, maybe he's more of a physical learner, not a visual learner. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But you're going to have to try something else. And don't be mean about it because yes. he is inexperienced. And I'm quite sure at whatever age he is, he's insecure. If you was a big old hoe and he was a virgin, like, come on, He girl. got some to catching up to do. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to lie. I like when I'm like giving head to my man. He tells me, you know, what he do likes. This. and do. Oh, do this, do this. It's like, look, I've been, su- y'all heard I've been no sucking reason. dick since 1942, and I'm still taking tips, bitch. Mm-hmm. So it's okay to tell people a little one, two. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody's different. Everybody likes something different. I mean, he ain't had nobody else, so he has no <laughs> guide, no blueprint. But like, girl, just I think you could be a little bit more patient. Mm-hmm. And y'all need to stop it with this. This nigga ain't fucking me right. I want an open relationship. You just want to go fuck somebody else, and you probably just should break up with him because it's about to happen anyway. Because yeah. if you yeah. went fuck somebody else, if that's you what be you're crying. thinking about. That's what you want to do anyway. But I agree. I definitely think you should like actually guide him and show him because if he's not listening, then obviously you're not getting through to him. So show him what you like. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with each and every one of these dick sucking ladies. <laughs> 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 okay, that's it for the advice. Remember, if you want to ask us a question on the show, you can email us at vice at cocktailspod.com. And now we'll move on to the cocktails. Uh huh. Uh huh. So we are pretty much out of time. So we are gonna let Drea and Lex Ooh. share some cocktails, uh, but they're gonna read. The they're cookie gonna read. whisperer. Oh. So let's just jump right into it. I found out my man was messing around on me quite a few times, and I immediately lost my mind. We had been together six years and I was all in. So, of course, I was down. My friend told me after a few months, the best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. So, I was like, hmm, there's this one guy that has always been around, but he knew I was in a relationship, so he never crossed that line. So, when I saw this guy again, I was like, let me see. Keep in mind, this dude is tall, tatted. Low haircut, always smelling and looking so delicious. I had been noticed, but I didn't think anything of it because I had a man. But now that I'm single, I'm like, hmm. So long story short, we go out for dinner and then head back to his place. We start hooking up. But I noticed that for some reason he keeps narrating stuff. Then he steps back all dramatically and says, the things I'm about to do to your body is going to make you want to marry me. Oh. This proceeded to make him want to marry me. <laughs> this proceeded to be the longest, most irritating sexual experience <laughs> I ever had. Not only did he no, narrate things before he did them, but it was trash. Oh, <laughs> him! Then he kisses down to her sweet and <gasps> wait to her sweet art and delivers three slow licks, and she quivers. Me to me in my head. Um, is he talking about himself in third person? So then he proceeds to give me the slowest, most uncomfortable head. And even though I'm telling him to go faster, this man is ignoring me. So that's when it happens. Because finally I'm fed up and I'm just like, fuck me. This man (laughs) proceeds to go down and whisper and apologize to my cookie about the pressure it's about to receive. He's down there for a good three minutes whispering. So I'm hoping this pressure blow my mind. Man, he pulls out a whole pinky and a few dramatic <gasps> ass narrated ass thrust later it's done him she lay there worn out from the magic of his sword I said, no she didn't bitch no he she turned didn't it into like a zayna 
I would be yes. a vodka. I would be Alexa, so- did I say play Audible? I'm not sitting here listening to this. She what? turned off the podcast. Yo, why would she, she turned off why the would turn I do this that? Shit down, nigga? Why would he say she lay there worn out from the magic of his sword? I would say who? I would say who? Who, nigga? <laughs> She say, I ain't never left somebody house so fast. <laughs> Girl, me, I would have left that nigga house too. Oh, my God. Oh, that's oh, right. sister. She said he pulled out a pinky. Lex, did you send this in? That's terrible. <laughs> was that, that LD? <laughs> He's still out here terrorizing that's bitches. That's the name of the episode, LD. Okay. okay, my turn. It says, Taco Tuesday to Walk Wednesday. Hey, y'all. I'm a huge fan of the show and have been listening for a couple of months now. It's kind of long, so please bear with me. Of course, they got the bitch who can't read doing a long one. Well, you know, they probably can't spell neither, girl. Who knows what's going to happen? I have never written in, but this cocktail has my pussy throbbing just thinking about it. So here it goes. I'm trying to get my Medina voice on. Come on. I'll give him a ding. You got it. Almost. (laughs) Me and my man have known each other for 10 plus years and have remained friends over the years. But now we have been dating for a couple of months now. We've even taken a trip together and he'll be meeting my parents this month. So it's serious. Mm. We decided to do Taco Tuesday at his place the day before. I made him spicy shrimp lettuce wraps and myself a barbecue jackfruit tacos as I am vegetarian. Mm. And we had them for leftovers the next day. While we ate, we were having casual conversation about plans for my family reunion and his birthday. Then we started talking about how this all felt different than dating anyone else in the past and how us reconnecting was nothing but God's divine timing. To my surprise, he officially asked me to be his girlfriend. I happily Mm -hmm. said yes, and all I knew was I wanted to give him some pussy right then and there. But Mm -hmm. I waited until we were ready to go to bed. So we're laying down, cuddled up next to each other, and all of a sudden, I pulled his face in and started kissing him. Then the next thing I know, we're tonguing each other down. Then he started to lay on top of me. I seductively told him to turn off the TV and put on some music. I want to say put on Barry White. (laughs) (laughs) After that, we continued making out, and as I'm pulling him in, he pulled down my bra and started licking and sucking and caressing my titties. Come on! Titties. I'm sorry. You probably say diabetes. It's getting real. Diabetes. It's getting intense, y'all. This is crazy. If a new shit worked on this story, you would have made it my titties. Baby, pull out your titties. Pull it back. Baby, I'm like, y'all used to like old men. I probably done heard that before. Then he lifted his head up to spit in his hand and gently started rubbing my clit in circular motion. I instantly started moaning all while doing this he's making so much eye contact that it's got me in a trance he then slipped his fingers into my wet ass pussy and started hitting my g-spot he bit his lip and then said you so fucking wet baby i hope he ain't <laughs> said it like that <laughs> he probably did <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i replied i replied only for you Girl. baby <laughs> As I'm moaning, I started rubbing on his rock hard dick as I was ready to whip it out. I wanted it so bad now, I can tell he wanted me even more. (laughs) He slipped my... I can't breathe. I'm sorry. He slipped my thong off and just before he began to insert his dick inside of me, I stopped him. And I instructed him to just rub the tip up and down on my pussy. As he does this, I started to feel waterfalls dripping from my pussy down to my ass. I know. Oh, really? Ooh, juicy. She was hot and ready like Little Caesars. Ooh. Okay, I added that. I added that. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Come on, y'all. Come on, goddammit. What about them titties? <laughs> them chills. Okay, he then slowly started to stick his dick inside of me missionary style. He was stroking me. He started whispering in my ear. You know I love you, baby. I said, I know, baby. I love you, too. By now, I was ready to get real nasty. So I turned us over on our side, and he starts pounding me. He slows down, and I started grinding on his dick. 
dick in the same position. He said, yeah, baby, fuck me back. <laughs> I said, yes, daddy. I started going to town on his dick. He then gets up and tell me to bend over. I happily obliged. I arched my back, tooted my ass up in the air, and backed my ass up on him like juvenile in 1999. She okay, ain't that part too. So, so it, was, it was getting intense, y'all. This is getting good. Woo! As he put his back in this oasis. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oasis. That's the oasis. I like that. Me I'm about too. to start. I'm about to text the you nigga. Ready that. For you ready for my oasis? Ooh. Right. Mm. That's he started title. hitting me from the back a while smacking and grabbing my ass and as we're in the rhythm I started throwing my ass back he said damn that ass so fat Ooh. I'm skinny with a little booty but when we fuck he makes me feel like I got the fattest ass in the world next he pulled out laid on the bed and said come suck this drop <laughs> He knows sucking his dick is my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. So start so I started sucking, spitting, slurping, and eating his dick and balls up. Ooh. Making him even more hard. He don't even know I'm just getting started. <laughs> he let out a oh shit. <laughs> As I feel it growing in my mouth, which made me suck even more. I stopped <laughs> sucking and came back or came back up and started kissing him as I sat on top of his dick. Ooh. You horny, because this is long. That is very long. I started grinding him slow <laughs> while I'm on top. Then I grabbed the headboard and was bouncing on that dick. Ooh. I'm not getting into heaven after reading this, bitch. <laughs> None of us are. Ooh. I'm a super soaker at this point. Ooh. And he grabbed my face and told me, you so fucking beautiful. <laughs> I'm moaning so loud, I even placed my hands behind me while still on top, and I was riding him some more. As I'm bouncing on this hard dick, he's rubbing my clit, making him say his name loud enough for the neighbors to hear. Even Trey Songs didn't know what to do. Oh, my bad. <laughs> she preaching in this motherfucker. His attentiveness to my body made me so weak. No SWV. <laughs> Lord, this girl's <laughs> gonna be like this bitch. He asked if I wanted him to come, and I said, Yes, daddy. He still wasn't ready. He suddenly stopped me, pulled me to the edge of the bed with my legs above his head, and started inserting his dick in and out of my pussy, then Ooh. sped up. This man was hitting every last one of my walls so good, I went from wall to wall like Chris Brown. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get through this. I lost my <laughs> It's almost over. Uh -huh. oh, almost. I'm sorry, I'm almost there. <laughs> Teddy I'm surprised book. I have any left. He still wasn't done. He bent me over while I bounced my ass on his dick to bring it on home. He <laughs> nah, I did, I, she did say that. Okay. He grabbed my neck and whispered in my ear, It's always been you and nobody else. What? You know I fucking love you, girl. Mm. At this point, I'm ready to come, and he is too. So we finally let out a loud, oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 when you feel it in you, you found somebody who <laughs> made you change your way like hanging with your crew. So you act like you're ready, but you don't really know. Damn, let me say it. Oh, my That's what he knows. That's what he You started it. <laughs> <laughs> we finally let out a loud O oh, and come at the same time. Oh, he is wait. Oh my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. He, he is shooting the club up. I knew he was. I knew he was gonna do it. We laid down and I fell asleep in his mm -hmm. arms as happy as ever. I mm -hmm. know this cocktail was long as fuck. It was. But I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll be back for another juicy one soon. Until next time, ladies. Your girl. I don't. Can I say her name or no? Is it a real name or it's like a sign off? I don't know. It just says the name. XOXO. No, XO. no. Don't nah. be back for another juicy one, bitch. We gonna call you baby mama because I know you break it. Oh, freaky. Probably with twins. Yeah. I had to read that one. That, I, I didn't even know. That. I didn't even know. Pretty yet. That was perfect, though. That, that was, was good. Yeah. Crazy. It was amazing. Girl. I gave you a whole soundtrack mm -hmm. for y'all to fuck to now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This <laughs> was an amazing episode. <laughs> yes. It always will be when poor minds and cocktails get together. Let everybody know where they can find y'all, what y'all got going on. 
Uh, y'all can find us on Instagram at poor, P O U R underscore minds, M I N D S. On um, it's, uh, that's Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. It's all the same. YouTube, Poor Minds, all platforms. We are actually on tour right now. So y'all make sure y'all go to poorminds.com. We're coming to all the cities Nashville, Miami, Orlando, Detroit. Uh, Houston, Dallas, New Orleans, mm-hmm. and y'all, when I tell y'all the live show this year, it's completely different, and it's so much fun, so y'all make sure y'all come see us, and yeah. Yes, and I also have a cosmetics line. It's called Be- MuseBeautyCollection.com, and you can follow me on Instagram at MuseBeauty, that's M-U-S-E-B-E-A-U-T-Y-Y. I, I got it on right now. I was just going to say, I got my music on right now. Too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Was. it. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you check the description box for everything that we mentioned in the episode earlier. Get live show tickets for Poor Minds. Get live show tickets for us. Follow us on Instagram at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Kiki Said So. I'm at Coffee Bean Bean. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. goodbye. I'm sorry. But the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.